What's up, guys? Welcome back to WLR, White Boy Lockdown Radio. Hey, I'm going to drive a fast one today, guys. You know, I uh, I tried to upload part two of JD interview. Um, if you haven't seen the first part of it, look for introduction of JD. It's a good friend of mine I did time with, I'm still in contact with good interview he's got a crazy story he's in a lot of my a lot of my stories so you know it was only right to get him on the channel you know on my channel you guys already know viking you'll you'll end up knowing jd pretty good and i have a lot of my friends coming on here i got a lot of people doing time um a lot of people that i that I'm solid with, man. Um, some of them fight, you know, whether it's in the street, whether it was in chain gang, it could be friends from the street or friends from the chain gang. You know, I got, I got, a, I got a, a good, a good tight circle that I surround myself with. Right now, I'm just chilling in front of the gym, you know. I remember when I shot TV Room, I was talking about peace and quiet. Peace and quiet is important to me, man. Uh, I'm just chilling in front of the gym right now. I do I do it a lot. It's kind of like peace before the kill, you know. Your day unwinds when you're at work. You got all your thinking done, and you enter the gym. Enter in the gym, you take out all your stress, all your worry, anything that you got going on, you take it out on the iron. And that's always that's always worked for me. You know, as I mentioned, I'm going to have friends coming on the channel. You, so I'm going to, my, my channel is, is, a, is a prison channel. You know, I'm going to incorporate... A lot of my stories, whether I'm telling them in row or I'm mixing it up, however I'm doing it, whenever the opportunity comes where I can, I can bring someone on the channel, I'm going to do it. Unfortunately, I did it with JD Saturday, but with the upload process, that there was a little flitch in it, so we're going to reshoot it. But you know, I'll, on top of the stories and on top of bringing my friends on this channel... It's going to be about fitness, and there's going to be some MMA incorporation in it, too. I don't want to give too many hints out there and stuff like that. You have to just stay patient. But, you know, speaking of MMA, it reminded me of something. You know, when I was at Hamilton, and the, the link's going to be in the description. When I was at Hamilton... I was locked up with somebody. I wasn't in the same dorm with this guy. But I knew his name. His name was ringing bells. It was Afro Man. If you don't know who Afro Man is, hit the link in the description. Okay? But just because you hit the link in the description, and if you watch that video, don't get... Don't get it twisted. You know, that dude was a big dude. And yeah, he fought Kimbo Slice. You know, he's from he's from Dade. He's from he's from Miami. You know, when, when I saw him in the Florida DOC, he didn't have a big old afro. He had a head looking like mine. Alright. You know, I remember on the yard, a lot of people. A lot of people would associate his name with Kimbo Slice. And rest in peace, Kimbo Slice. Rest in peace. That's a, that's a Florida legend right there. You know, he wasn't the greatest UFC star, but that dude has my respect. You know, from the backyard to the UFC, come on. It's hard to do that. But on, on Kimbo's way to do that, 
Afro Man was in his in his way. And and in the link that I'm gonna drop. Yeah, Kimbo Mutt's the dude. This is true. You know? I didn't even I almost didn't wanna put the link in there because Because of the fight, he, you know, you have to you have to understand this guy is fighting Kimbo Slice. Yeah, I was never locked up with Kimbo Slice. It's not what I'm saying, but I was locked up with one of his backyard fighters. His backyard fights. I'm sorry. You know, when I was in Hamilton with Afro Man, a lot of people would associate his name. You know. Oh, you're the dude that fought Kimbo. You're the dude that fought Kimbo. You're the dude that fought Kimbo. That that would really, that was one way to irk that guy, Afro man. That was one way to irk him. You know, he had no Af- like I said, he had no Afro in the chain gang. Everybody gets one of these cuts when they come in. You're getting one of these. You're getting one of these. And real quick, why I'm on the why I'm on the subject, I made a uh, video a while back called side holders and in the video I mentioned there was a guy who, who said he didn't want to get his dreads cut and we were arguing because I was trying to lace that guy up just a quick update yes they cut his they cut his head just like they did mine all right I'm a little institutionalized every Monday this is what I do every Monday I used to go Get my head shaved. I still do it to this. It's something that never left. You know. But. uh, Back to this story. Afro man. He would get tired of people. He would get tired of people saying. Hey man. You're the. You're the guy that got whooped by Kimbo. Okay. You You have to imagine. You're an institution. You know what I mean. You have to make a name for yourself. You're your own man. Nobody wants to be known as the guy that got whooped by Kimbo. You know, salute to that guy. My hat's off to him. He, he actually met Kimbo Slice and bumped him. You know, everybody, everybody could, it's, it's easy to say, oh, you got your ass whooped. You know, but nobody wants to fight Kimbo. You, 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 you see what I'm saying? And like I said, I was never in the dorm with the dude. I didn't know the dude. But I knew he was there. I knew his name, this and that, you know, and I'll never forget the time when he whooped the dude bad. Like I said, in the link that I'm about to drop, you're not going to be, you're not going to be able to tell that Afro man has hands because he's fighting somebody with extraordinary hands. But the rumor was when I was in, everybody would associate this guy with Kimbo Slice. You know, oh, you're the guy that got whooped by Kimbo. You're the guy that got whooped by Kimbo. You know, after, you know, if you're in there for years, I forget how much time Afro Man caught, but he hated when people would say that. And he made an example out of somebody. He, I was never in the same dorm, but he was in the dorm next to mine. And he ended up painting somebody, molly whopping somebody. Dude came out, the. he was in the dorm next to mine, so essentially we would go to chow together. You know, A, B dorm. A's on this side, A's on this side, B's on this side. Dorm. C, D. They go to chow. E, F. Okay, you get it. So it was, I was in D, he was in E. He had this dude come out like Elephant Man one day. Just lumped up, you know. He had to prove himself, you know. He, he, he would. I can only imagine what he was going through. He, imagine what that guy was going through. Everybody has seen you get your ass kicked on the internet, and they're just throwing that in your face, throwing that in your face, throwing that in your face. So of course the dude snapped, and he showed people what he could really do, and 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 gradually, gradually the the. The upfront and in his face. Oh, you fought Kimbo. You fought Kimbo. Slow down, slow down, slow down. And people would say like, hey, "That's the guy that fought Kimbo Slice." You know. Sure enough, he's got he he got in a couple squabbles there. He had a very short bid. He was in and out of where I was. But uh, shout out to Afro Man if you're watching this. Yeah, man. 
But the reason why I'm dropping this video is because, like I said in the beginning, I'm going to have a lot of friends come on and they're going to share their story. So I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it how we can get it. You know, I'm going to be telling my, I'm continue telling my stories, continue telling my stories. But if I have to pause and let somebody come on and share, we just got to pick it up, pick it up. Listen, this channel is a little bit different than all prison channels. It's just my way of doing things. But I wanted to drop this one, man, because I eventually I'm going to bring... I, I, I like, would like to talk about UFC stuff on this channel a lot. You know, we'll get to that. But it was... Uh, I'm flipping through. I'm subscribed to uh, MMA World, MMA Live, a lot of stuff on YouTube. I watch it, you know, coming to the gym on the way home. And um, Kimbo... And I believe Kimbo died this month. You know, like I said, salute to Kimbo. You know, that was a real street legend. But, you know, also sh shout out to Afro Man. Did time, we did time at the same facility. You know, the dude was a real tall guy. I remember him, he was tall as shit. And uh, when I saw him, he, he looked a little bit more grown than in the link about the drop. But you never know who you're going to end up in prison with, man. You know, not a major celebrity. You know what I mean? But shout out to Afro, man. But listen, guys, I'm going to get with JD this week to follow up on part two. If you haven't watched it, go look at part one. Everybody, you guys, you guys stay out, stay safe, have a good week. Until next time, it's WLR.